with Dr. Sears for a great breakfast strategy for busy families. It's like his favorite smoothie recipe. But first, while you may still be wearing layers of clothes and cozy sweaters, believe it or not, spring is right around the corner. So the time is coming where you'll be swapping out those winter clothes for the cool and fun fashions of spring. And if you're ready to bring some spring into your wardrobe, here are great ideas from Teresa Quick. Well, here I am at the Geox showroom. Most people don't realize that when you see shoes on shelves, they're actually in showrooms just like this for up to a year in advance. So what I have actually have in front of me is a spring 2011 sneak peek for you so you can start building your shopping list now. Geox, for those that aren't familiar with it, is the number one brand in Italy, but it also has a bit of an interesting story to it. It has a breathable sole, which you don't see in any other shoe. Um, the outside is made of this cool rubber perforated sole, and the inside has a breathable membrane. So when you sweat, your sweat actually goes through the breathable membrane and out through these little holes. But since sweat is smaller than water, uh, the water doesn't come back through the hole, so you do have a waterproof sole. Style-wise, what I have in front of me is a very reluctant return of the kitten heel this season, which is a great option for a lot of women uh, because it's a lot more comfortable than either a ballet flat or a higher stiletto. And the reason these were coming back was mostly inspired by the retro and minimalist feels we had on the runway. As you can see, very, very plain, unadorned, but in very interesting, beautiful, neutral colors. We also saw the clog. And for most women, this isn't the most glamorous option, but you can go for clog-inspired styles, which is what I have here in front of me. So look for things like wooden heels and this beautiful studding happening along here. It's a much lighter feel than the classic clog and a lot more wearable for a lot of women. Next, I have what I call the urban utility look. And we're really seeing a lot of new materials, like what we have here, which is kind of a nylon strap. It kind of has a seatbelt feel almost to it. Um, and once again, it's some really great neutral tones and also the running shoe. And this is a great trend because it's very, very, very practical. Especially for running errands on the weekend, you've got some great colors. And once again, you've got kind of that netting, which gives it a utilitarian feel. I have what I call the Santa Monica feel this season. And it's yacht inspired, but it looks very, very rich. Lots of color blocking. And we're seeing a lot of those really soft pastels, as well as very, very plain, slim looking boat shoes for women. Next, we have the tassels and the exotic prints. And this was exactly that. It was inspired by um, a world traveler feel on the runway. So those are kind of easy ways to get that kind of exotic feel in a shoe. <laughs> Next we have was the lingerie look. Um, we've seen it over and over again, but this year it was touched a little bit more with feminine floral. Uh, and that was interpreted shoes with cutouts, uh, perforated leather. And the thing that really does is it really makes the leather very light. So you can go ahead and wear a ballerina flat with a light floral dress and not have it be too heavy on the foot. And the reason I love these ones here, suede isn't typically a shoe that you see in the springtime. It's usually in the fall it sort of arrives back. But the reason this is so great is it does add a bit of softness to the look, which is exactly what you want to go with that romantic feminine feel. For men, once again, we're seeing a lot of new fabrics, new techniques with the fabrics um, and materials. The one here, this actually looks like stitching, but if you do cl a close-up on it, you can actually see there are cutouts in the leather. So you're seeing new experimental processes with different materials, and we'll see that all the way through the collection. Uh, once again, you have a really neat hybrid happening, and we have this leather-topped, worn-looking shoe, but it's in green and blue, which is new. It's a fresh new take on um, what we had is that preppy look, but it's new, it's fresh, and we also have the white sole. Uh, here we have the Oxford shoe, but it has a white kind of um, running shoe sole to it, which adds a bit of trendiness to it that we didn't see in the Oxford in previous years. We also have what looks like denim or something that's been left in the sun for a long time, and that has that retro feel to it, but once again, it's new and invented and fresh for the season. Below we have the boat shoe for men, and that's a staple every single year, and Geox really does a great job with their boat shoes, mostly because this technology is absolutely perfect for the boat shoe because you don't want to wear socks with it. Next we have what was considered the um, running shoe reinvented once again. You have a leather, a very soft leather, and some really interesting neutral colors with that beautiful white stitching. So I hope this is giving you a little bit of a taste of what's to come for spring 2011. So you can start going through your wardrobe right now while we still got cold weather outside and really plan what your big investments for shoes are going to be for the spring. The colors and styles of spring can sure give your spirits a lift. Now, if you'd like another look at this segment or any other of our real life style segments, just visit our website at Real Life on C.